Hey guys and welcome to another Nikkei God is the Victory video. Today, we will be taking a look at and reviewing every single healer in the game. We will quickly go over their kit, highlight some of their pros and cons, and I will give you my overall evaluation and recommendations for each one of them so you can get a better idea on how to use them in your teams. I will be putting them in the tier list just to make things organized. We have S tier for the ones that I consider to be the best pick for most situations. A tier is for those characters who are good but might need to be in a specific team to shine. B tier is for those who are decent options if you don't have any other ones ranked higher. And C tier is for those characters who are struggling to fulfill the requirements of being a healer. To start things off, what do you exactly want from a healer? Obviously, you would want someone who can give your team more survivability but at the same time, you will also want someone who can provide more buffs and will synergize well with your team. So first up, we have Helm. Some of you might be surprised because Helm is not classified as support, but she does have a very strong healing capability from her burst skill. If you want a more detailed breakdown about Helm, you can check out my complete Helm guide and that will be linked in the description. But essentially, she lets you run a team without a dedicated healer while also giving your team an insane damage boost. The only problem with her kit is that she mainly shines in single target scenarios because of her single target focused damaging skills. Aside from that, she fits well with a lot of team comps and it's very hard to mess up this energy with her kit. So with that said, I will have to put her on S tier. Next up, we have Uni. Uni is a burst type 2 defender but I really think she acts more like a support. Her skill 1 increases the charging speed and ammo capacity for your team which makes her a great pick for sniper and rocket launcher teams. She also gives a significant amount of additional defense to her team and she has a burst skill with only a 20 second cooldown that will immobilize enemies for 5 seconds. So this is very useful especially in defense stages. Overall, her kit is really good but her lifesteal scales very low which is not that great even with a 100% uptime and her weapon specific bonuses also hold her back in teams with only one or without a sniper or a rocket launcher user. So with that said, she will have to go on A tier. Next up we have Rapunzel. She is the most underrated unit in this tier list but I'm starting to see a lot more people pay attention to her and are realizing her potential. Rapunzel's kit revolves around giving her team consistent healing which focuses more on your two main DPS characters. And she is also the only character in the game who can bring back a down character in your team. She is a character that shines more as you get into the mid to late game so around chapter 8 and so on because at that point you're not only worrying about DPS checks but also with survivability and the fact that you can bring on an ally back is a very useful thing to have. Her only issue is that her burst skill has a 60 second cooldown which is the longest one in the game. This means that you will likely have to run her with one or even two cooldown reducing characters. This also forces you to run another burst type 1 character with a shorter cooldown so you can enter full burst mode more often. In the perfect team, she is definitely S tier especially in mid to late game but outside of that, I will have to put her on A tier just because she needs a lot of specific characters to run with and her cooldown somewhat limits how you build your team. Next up we have Pepper. Pepper is a burst type 1 shotgun user that has a unique passive which increases the buff stacks on your characters. Which means, however many stacks your characters originally had, they will get another one on top of that. She also has the highest burst damage out of all the characters that have burst type 1. Honestly, her only downside is her weapon, which limits her effective range. But aside from that, she still is a great pick for a support, especially in shotgun teams. There's really not much to say about her. She heals, has a unique and very useful passive, but she doesn't quite have the same flexibility as my S tier unit. So with that said, I will have to put her on the very top of A tier. The next character we have is Emma. She is a healer that prioritizes healing output, but I think she focuses too much on healing. She is also one of the very few characters with no damage on their burst skill, so outside of being able to heal, she doesn't really bring anything significant to the team. Overall, her lack of damage from her burst skill and lack of additional utility makes it hard to recommend using her, but she does have good enough healing to where I can put her on B tier. Moving on, our next character is Mary. Mary is a burst type 1 shotgun unit which also focuses on healing and healing only. Outside of her healing and defense buff, she doesn't really provide anything significant and the fact that she is a burst type 1 character with a 40 second burst cooldown is not helping her case at all. You can maybe run her in a shotgun team as your healer but even then, you have better options for healers who can also fill the burst type 1 slot. Overall, I don't really recommend using her, not unless she is your only healer and you desperately need one. So with that said, down she goes to C tier. Next up, we have Falkwang. At first glance, she seems to have a very strong kit as a support. 
She gives your team a shield, increases your HP recovery, she can taunt the enemies, even give your team lifesteal. But the only problem is that more than half of those things are locked behind cooldowns on her skill 1 and skill 2, which can't be reduced by any character we have as of now. Maybe she is just ahead of her time, and she'll be more viable when we get a character that can reduce the skill 1 or skill 2 cooldowns. But as of now, I will have to put her on C tier. And next we have Noise. She sort of acts like an off tank support because she can taunt and increase her own HP. She also decreases the damage taken by her teammates. She has a very strong healing output from her burst but it's held back by the 40 second cooldown. Her taunt is also not that great compared to other characters so with that said, she does have enough utility to not make her totally bad but she does underperform compared to the other supports in the game. So with that said, I will have to put Noise at the bottom of B tier. And next on the list, we have Milk. She is a burst type 1 sniper who is classified as an attacker. She has an amazing buff that affects your top 2 damage dealers and she has a permanent critical damage increase to her team. She can give her team lifesteal with her burst skill and deal decent damage with it. But just like the other characters on this list, the only thing holding her back is her skill cooldown. It's really hard to recommend characters with these issues since there are a lot of better options that fill the same role and do it better. Also the fact that you need to keep her HP above 80% to keep the critical damage bonus will make you optimally use her as a secondary healer since the lifesteal is not enough to get her back to 80% when she goes below it. Plus, I don't really see a scenario where you need two healers in one team. So with that said, I will have to put her on B tier. So yeah, this is my ranking for all the healers in Nikkei. Most of the healers in the game are good aside from the ones on C tier. But they have potential in the future if we get characters who can take care of the issues that they have on their kit. With all that said, let me know if you agree or disagree with my tier list. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments below. Hopefully you found this video useful. And as always, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.